A community is saying its final goodbye to a beloved Northwest Ohio police officer. This afternoon, a funeral service was held for Bluffton police officer Dominic Francis. Last week, Francis was killed while attempting to stop a car during a police chase. TNTV's Kiana Dyches was in Bluffton today as family, friends and colleagues gathered to honor him. Friends and family say officer Dominic Francis was a fixer, always willing to get his hands dirty, a school bus driver who made sure kids in this community got to school safely, a coach, a mentor, and so much more. Today they remembered him as Dominic the peacemaker and protector. Matthew 5 9. Blessed are the peacemakers. In life, it's what you do for others that defines who you are. It's just going to be hard for everyone to move forward with this. Friends and colleagues say that's what made Officer Dominic Francis so special. It's going to be a, a great loss to this community. It's going to be a great loss to law enforcement, and it's going to be a great loss to all the kids he mentored. A loss to all who knew him when he was hit and killed by three suspects fleeing police. The community lost a father, a husband, and so much more. It's a sad day at the end of the day, and uh, he'll never be replaced. His wife accepted his Medal of Honor and Purple Heart, the highest honor an officer can receive for his bravery and exceptional commitment to public safety. Anybody that pays the ultimate sacrifice, as he did, uh, needs to have this honor. After the honors, community members lined the street as Officer Dominic Francis took his final ride through the town of Bluffton. Friends and family say he will never be forgotten and he cannot be replaced. Reporting in Bluffton, Kiana Deitches, 10 TV News. Following the funeral, Officer Francis' body was laid to rest in Union Township. Officers from all across the state drove to the cemetery to pay their respects. Now, the three suspects charged in connection with the deadly chase were indicted in Hancock County today. 20-year-old Eamon Johnson faces the most serious charge of involuntary manslaughter. 19-year-old Dante Tate and 21-year-old Zachary Love are charged with receiving stolen property and failure to comply. Love is from the Columbus area.